So yeah, uh, in other news, in your neck of the woods, right? How did I don't even know how to talk about this, man? So I have a I have a question. Do you think they had a run in with this young man some time ago for them to do that to him? It seemed personal. At least one of them apparently probably had something, and it doesn't make any sense otherwise. Mm -mm. None whatsoever. Even if it was a traffic stop, then you got five motherfuckers on him. Ain't nobody's, and on the uh, body cam, it didn't say anything about suspected of this or that or nothing. Like suspected wanted murderer or anything. It's just like they just went out. But we have a lot of have a lot of carjackings, a lot of uh, armed robberies and all that shit going on here. So him to see, you know, a black person, I mean, a black, a person in all black coming towards him or even several people in all black, even saying that they're cops, no badges or nothing like that. And then as far as the uh, the eyewitnesses, they said no lights until, you know, what I'm saying the other ones rolled up. So you just got somebody out there saying like, I'm a cop and, you know, stop. You, ain't nobody going to stop. St ain't nobody still going to stop. Not here. I mean, uh, word around Chicago is that they're calling Memphis or a certain part of Memphis, uh, little Chicago. The what? They're calling it little Chicago. Because of oh, we got a, a part of town that's called New Chicago, but that's that area. It's always been New Chicago. Yeah. Um, there is no not one part that's worse than the other like um you call out in the part of town i can tell you what crime is happening in that town yeah and that's even with the white ones so it, it's not like it's not I like just, uh i just feel like a situation like that if what was it five police officers yeah if you get together to beat up a black man like that there is there is something uh there's a relationship there something has happened either y'all right. somebody somebody had arrested him before or had a run in with him before or he might have been messing with somebody girl or something like that even with right. the george floyd i kept saying for you to kneel on the man's neck for eight minutes or 40 something seconds there's something there to anybody that's listening man don't let nothing like that happen to me it's already been it's already been put on the wire especially in, in my personal life don't let nothing like that happen to me don't be recording my death record the record the fight for my life don't record my death and everybody should be joining in ain't nobody should nobody be sitting around watching me get beat up by five other people ever ever if somebody jump on Kenyon, may god be with you if i'm standing there Cause hey, I'm I'm happy to give you a reason. Yeah, ain't no <laughs> God. I swear to God, you are gonna have a reason. May God be like, with you, right? Cause these motherfuckers get paid to be professional. They choose this job, and then nobody make them take it. No, uh, no. And, and who? Wh what are they actually teaching you off? You all to gang up on one guy? You mean to tell me don't it, it, two officers couldn't get this guy under, under control? Yeah, beat that man, put him in the hospital, and he died in the hospital. And then y'all probably went home and thought y'all did something uh, good. Mm. Yeah, oh, we got it. We got his ass. We got his ass. And these motherfuckers got out. They were bailed out like the same day they would take me in. Shit, they they needed to. You know what's gonna happen if they ass was sitting up in there? Motherfuckers would have found out what they did. You know what's gonna happen right now? Man, what do you think will happen to him out there in these streets? Oh, man. Little Chicago is coming to get you guys. <laughs> man, I swear to God. Oh, man. Now, see. And they, were been, fired, they were fired immediate, immediately. Immediately. Right? Like, there wasn't no time about waiting until we investigate. They weren't sent on. Man, I've known cops here in town that have killed people like run that like they've been running red lights just to get to a piece of ass they've killed the people as a matter of fact one cop killed two people because he was running the red light to get to a female 
What about while he's on the job, he's going to get some pleasure. He ran the light, killed a woman and her son. They let him retire with his pension. This motherfucker moved to Montgomery, Alabama. And, and started uh and went to school to uh, do something else. I don't even remember what his name was, but uh but I can find the shit. Because this motherfucker was speeding on the job. But this is old that was back in the day too, where they try to cover shit up. Yeah, a cop here in Bartlett. Uh, cop here in Bartlett uh, ran the light just to be running the fucking light. I don't know where he was trying to get to, but uh -huh. he killed two white women in a gray uh, Pontiac Grand Dam. Fucked the car up, like cut the car in half. So he had to be really speed. Wow. They put his ass on administrative leave while there was an investigation for about two weeks or no, it was about two months almost. I'm like, y'all already established this man won't respond to a call. These two people are dead. Like the car was in two pieces. Like he went through that motherfucker. And then all they did was say that he's gonna be, he's gonna be, uh, what is it? He was, he was allowed to retire with his pension. Like they, they forced him to retire. Are, are these, like, are these gentlemen, are these people Caucasian? The women that he killed, yeah. Yeah, but the uh, the mother and son were black, and that was a black cop that did that. So a black cop, like that was some sh that that's some shit there. Like yeah. that that dude had to move. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, the white guy that 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 knelt knelt on uh, George Floyd. Mm -hmm. He's not in, he's not in jail, is he? He is now, but it took them how long to put him in jail? Uh huh. But the. Uh, Sergeant that showed up on the scene, they fired her as that same week. That's so crazy. Man. She was on the scene and she was responsible. She black man, black man, what the fuck were y'all thinking? Hmm. Right. What the fuck were y'all thinking to do that young man like that? What if he didn't kill if he didn't kill one of y'all family? Or if it wasn't yeah, one of y'all wives involved, what right. did he do? What did he do to earn that? I can tell you this, man. Short of killing somebody that I love, I wouldn't let anybody that I'm with do that much. I understand the ass whooping. And I don't think it would be five of us whooping his ass. Like mm -mm. at that point, then he had fucking cups on. I wouldn't let that shit went that far at all. First of all, I won't let you try to do that shit on your fucking job. You're wearing a body cam anyway. But these motherfuckers just so brazen. You know, they didn't even right. care at, the, at that point. Oh, we got just the body cam. Omnipotent on. to every damn thing and just did this shit anyway. I be, I want to see. I want to hear about what the connection is, though, because I do, too. It got to be something. It got to be something. Or y'all was hiding a motherfucker on the job. Right. Y'all was high as fuck. Like, who goes out? F five black men. Man, listen, between me and you, we already know we can knock out five or six people by ourselves. Right. right? Just me and you. Right. We know that we can fight off five to six black people by ourselves. Or anybody. I ain't gonna say no black people. We can fight off anybody by ourselves. Right. Five or six of them. Y'all gonna have a problem with us. So it's five of y'all on one guy. Now pepper spray him with handcuffs and still beat this man. That that was that was murder. That was murder from the get go. That was murder from the jump. The moment you knew you had a handcuff and he couldn't fight for himself, that that was murder. Attempted right. murder. That started off as attempted murder in my book. It did. Shit, that's what it was. It started off as attempted murder. To have a person handcuffed and it's five of y'all. He had he ain't had no chance. Right, none whatsoever. When we used to be in school and be on Bill Street and and used to have a heavy present on Bill Street. And then the cop told me, because they didn't used to be like that before we went to school and like they never be out there that tough, especially walking. And so I was asking, like, why y'all down here? Because ain't nothing happened. But they were so afraid that something would happen. They had like overwhelming amount of cops walking around down there. And the majority of them were black. Down there talking shit. Not causing any trouble. You know, and most people, even when they started some shit, 
you know, they'll talk it down to where it ain't where it ain't a situation. They'll do they'll de uh, escalate the situation without having to arrest anybody. Mm-hmm. And most people that we ever saw get arrested was a drunk white person. And you know, what can you do? They ain't, you know, they won't comply. But that was the most that happened to them. They got arrested. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember any situation where all those fucking cops being on Bill Street that anybody ever got the shit beat out of them, let alone killed. And if I'm wrong, somebody please let me know because let us know because I don't like I don't remember in my time there, and we were down there like every other weekend, just and just shooting the shit, just walking around the right. downtown area, just kicking it. You know, I don't recall motherfuckers getting their ass beat like that right so you know i don't recall shit. going anywhere in memphis being with y'all and seeing no shit like that ever now maybe it maybe it did happen on the low because you know chicago was very suspect and there, mm-hmm. there are things that have happened on the low here uh i've had a cop try to break my hand and all this other stuff so i know there are i know there are some cops out there who are very shitty at what they do and they use that their badge and their gun as a way to to bully people you know you got and you do have cops that like to be bullies and if you see them in person without their badge and their gun they ain't the same person but i don't recall ever being in memphis and ever hearing anything about worrying about officers beating up beating up a a, a young man never and we i was in and for those who don't know i was in college there. I was in college and yes i did have my little run in with the little dudes in the park and that shit escalated to whatever it did but that's only because you 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 you, you cross the line you're getting your ass beat everybody know it you cross the line you're getting your ass beat or worse you know the ass beating and turned into something else but i never had to worry about anything like that i don't ever recall that and and today we're hearing about a young man, a young man losing his life because five men that look just like him beat him to a pole and killed him. 